The recipe for story is very simple. Take somebody you like and give them a try. Yeah. Yeah, every time I say that, I see some kid with his best friend and go, Rude. The better the character, the worse the trouble, the better the story. With one more small rule. The character has to solve the problem by him or herself at the end. Can I prepare the teacher here from the sky, go down, wave back to one and say, Oh, but I like this. The character has to solve the problem. You know where I found the character for the monster's ring? Right in front of me. I was teaching fourth grade. I looked around my classroom, and there was Russell. That's his name in the book. That was his name in real life. Russell was a great kid. I loved Russell. He was bright, he was funny, he was creative, he was imaginative. He was the biggest dream he ever met in life. <laughs> his mother pushed him out, his father pushed him out, the kids pushed him out, and I pushed him out. Not because I wanted to push him out, but if I said, Russell, what? Here's a kid who needs a chance to be a monster. She did something very rude. I don't do this much anymore. Not much. I took Russell's personality, I put him in the story. I said, what would this kid do if he could do a monster? And I went the story over again. And this time it wasn't five pages long, it was a hundred pages long. Whoa.